Where are the greatest interventions that you are making for these young people? Because I hear African leaders say, people must study maths and science. What if I don't want to study maths and science? What if I want to be an artist? I can still make a great contribution to the economy. What do you say about lateral thinking? Thank you very much. I am myself in the humanities. And I think I'm in the most interesting of all the disciplines. I'm in literature. But believe me, artists need mathematics. Musicians need physics. It is at the basis of everything. It is just the way we have taught it. As if it's a rarefied subject away from ourselves. Let me use a very practical example of a child whose mother processes palm oil, from the nut to the oil. If this is not science, I don't know what science is. But you will not find it in the textbook. You will not find it in the lab. And therefore, this education that this child is getting has very little impact. This is just an example. But I think that there are many, many more. So it is not about the emphasis on science and math at the detriment of others. We're talking about entrepreneurship. We're talking about in industrialization. We need these subjects. And, but more importantly, is the medium through which the subject is taught. I've heard uh, Dr. Kim talk about uh, Africa in 2015 compared to uh, Korea. Nothing stopped Korea from using their language. By using their language, it didn't stop them from making the vehicles and the TVs and the phones that we import. Because Koreans were taught in a language they understood, education picked up. Because we are teaching our children a language they can't even follow, we are drawing them back. So there are... for me, it's not about reviewing the curriculum, it's not about the extension of contraption, it is about relevance. The world has talked about, about access. In the, in the uh, MDGs, we focus on primary education. 15 years, and let me remind all of us that the children who were in P1 15 years ago, at the end of 15, were 21. I'm sure they are part of the audience yeah. now. So at the time you are thinking of primary school, you should be moving up. Yeah. You shouldn't say that we need only primary education. I've got the data. If somebody stays in school for one year, it translates into $90. That's not what we need. Right. What we need is to ensure that you are teaching children in ways... The Ghanaian children are so bright, and that's what makes me so um, passionate. Yeah. Here are bright children. And most of them are trapped in the basic schools, in the public schools. Right. We should never get to a level where we accept that the basic schools are failed. Here is a place where 70% of the children attend school in this country. Yeah. We leave them behind, we leave ourselves behind. Because we will live with them. Yeah. They will come into your homes to fix your fridge. And when it doesn't work anymore, don't ask me why. <laughs> and I believe that Every subject can be taught. If science is taught in the language the child understands, and he becomes a tailor, a tailor's most important instrument is a tape measure. It's a scientific instrument. It's a mathematical instrument. Okay. A seamstress's most important item is the tape measure also. When you go there, what do they do? They measure you. They're already speaking mathematics. So how come they were not good in math? Because yeah. you taught them wrongly in a medium they couldn't relate to. Yeah. That okay. we can remove, and let me tell you, we will change this country. All right. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, ladies. Unfortunately, I Minister will need your applause when I push through the language policy. Thank you very much. <laughs>